Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you real quick with a couple of makeup reviews. Really, really quick, I hope. I hope I can make them quick. So this is going to be on the Julep Pore Minimizing Bronzer in the color Light Golden Bronze. And the Pore Minimizing Blush in the color Peach Bellini. And the back of them say Glow. This is The packaging is really lovely on them, I will say that. Uh, however... At least in terms of, this is the bronzer. This is, this is the bronzer that you get. Now, I have used this quite a few times, and I'm really not impressed with it. It's, it's not a bad color. It's supposed to be pore minimizing, and it's supposed to be made with like some anti-aging complex, but I find it to be very, like, I don't know if you all can see that. It's really inconsistent in the color. So, I, so, I make my own... I, I make my own foundation sometimes. So when you make your own foundation, the whole point though is to blend the pigments really well together, especially when you do matte products. When you do shimmer glitter, you have a little more options there, but can you all see how like splotchy that crap is? I'm, I don't know what, what another nice word to put say for this, but it's just, it's splotchy, it's patchy, it's I don't know if maybe I just got a bad batch, because it could be that as well, but I will say this I mean, it doesn't blend out for crap. I really don't like to use such power language um, on this, but I have, and I've used this for over a month now, and I hate it. I, I, you know, because I don't want to give you guys a makeup review and not really know what the heck I'm talking about, but when you, when you make your own makeup, you should not see, like, do you guys see all the spots and stuff? That to me is an indication that this makeup was not blended properly when it was mixed. Now, it could just be that I got a bad batch, so everyone else's could be lovely. And it could just be maybe I'm not using this right, maybe it's supposed to look like this and do it this way, but it doesn't blend out very well at all. And I don't think it's too dark for my skin tone. I got the lightest color, and it's... I just really don't like it. I don't like the consistency. And another thing for a bronzer that is supposed to cost, I think this is like in the 20 to $30 range, which to me puts it in high end. This freaking stuff, like, look, I swirl my brush. Do you see all the powder that came off on that thing? If I'm paying $30 for this, granted I did not because it came in my Julep Maven box, I definitely expect there not to be that kind of like, I don't, I can't think of the word. I'm having a brain fart, you guys. It's Saturday. I don't know. But I definitely expect it to not do that. I expect there not to be fallout. I'm going to call it fallout. I don't know. That's not the right word. Someone correct me down below and let me know the proper terminology. Because <laughs> I really can't think. But I hate it. I hate it when there's extra, like, I mean, especially if this was something that I paid, like, 20 to $30. Hell, if this was something I paid $10 or more, because y'all know this is, this is how I roll. I like good stuff. I just don't like to pay a lot for it. So... I would be so mad it's not even funny. I'm still kind of aggravated. I mean, this is beautiful packaging. I will say that. It is absolutely gorgeous. I Look, I love that. Like, can you beat that? Oops, that's pinky. But it's really pretty um, packaging-wise. Like, it's really sleek. If you like that sleek, like, kind of modern design. I like that. It's very beautiful, but it's really crappy bronzer. I'm... Uh, mm. so like I don't I don't even think I would give that to a friend I think it's just gonna go in the bin so next thing is the julep pore minimizing blush in peach Bellini it's quite pretty as well once again it's that very like yeah handsome kind of modern packaging design it's also got the J and this I really love their little makeup covers those are beautiful very pretty pink that's part of the reason I got it. You had two options, this and another one, I forget. And again, this is in the $20 to $30 range. I think it's like $23.99 maybe. Someone correct me or I'll try and look it up. But once again, I really like for blushes that are supposed to cost so much money. <sighs> this one's not too bad. It doesn't have as much fallout as that bronzer did. I actually really like this blush. I think it's a beautiful color on me. It looks really pretty. Um, I just... 
Once again, you get kind of that patchy consistency with it. However, I will say that with this versus the other, it blends much, much better. That bronzer does not blend for crap. And I feel that way about the... Please don't crucify me because I know someone will. The e.l.f. Duo Blush Bronzer in Laguna, I think, or Antigua or something. One of the, the first one that came out, the original. I... The bronzer, at least on my skin tone, is really dark, which is fine. So, But even if I go light-handed, it's really hard to blend it out. Well, with a bronzer or something that's supposed to be for contouring, I really like it to be blendable. And truth be told, if I'm going to pick it up, I don't necessarily want it to have a ton of pigment, but I want it to be blendable, and it doesn't blend very easily. This, is, this on the other hand, okay, so this blush is fabulous, though. Back to the blush. It is fabulous. Does it minimize pores? I, I don't really think they do. I, I haven't noticed it. I don't have large pores. If you all have noticed a difference and you have used this product, this Julep blush, please let me know in the description below or the information bar or whatever downstairs in the comments section. I do like this color. It's very pretty, very pink. Um, I use it. I will probably keep it, maybe. I don't know. I have some other blushes from like ELF and NARS that honestly I like a lot better. I mean, it's just consistency wise, I really don't like it when they're like chalky and like it's not, it's not bad. The bron the bronzer though, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my money on it. But now that's not to say that it won't work on your skin or your skin type. I'm just telling you this has been my experience. So I just really, this was a poo and this was kind of a yay. So, or sort of a yay, or eh, it's okay. <laughs> but this was definitely what I would consider kind of a stinker. So, yeah. If you guys have had experience with these two products and you've had different experiences or similar ones, let me know downstairs. Down there. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this short, short review, like the shortest video I've ever made. And thank you all for watching. Please remember to like comment, subscribe, yada, yada, you know the whole day, I shouldn't, yeah. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.